so let's continue like this the fluid the tissue fluid flows from the arteriole end to the venule into the capillary bed then as the blood flows through the capillary bed uh, there is a progressive loss of water and of hydrostatic pressure too as a result much of the tissue fluid is able to eventually return to the plasma about 90 percent returns by this route and however not all the tissue fluid is returned to the blood circulation by this route but some of it enters the lymph capillaries some of it enters the lymph capillaries and the lymph is the tissue fluid that drains into the lymphatic vessels you can see in the picture rather than directly back into the blood capillaries in here you can see this is the duct drains the right side of the head and thoracic thorax and the right arm this one okay here you can see the veins returning the blood to the heart this is the blue part these are the veins returning the blood to the heart and here you can see this duct drains the remainder of the body and this is the lymph nodes that here you can see the points like here it is circle like this this is the lymph node we say if we see the structure of the lymph node it is a section of the lymph node observe it carefully it is a fixed macrophages engulf bacteria debris and toxins by phagocytosis phagocytosis and here you can see certain cells of immune system that is nothing but lymphocytes and plasma cells are made here here is this is the area the immune system the cells of the immune system are made this is the lymphatic here you can see the wall so just move on to the lympho lymphatic circulation so here you can see from the heart this side is the artery and here is the vein it's going like that okay so from here the blood is transporting through the artery and here you can see a circle shape here all the capillaries network you can see here this is the blood capillaries these are the blood capillaries here you can see the this is the blood sorry body tissues so here you can see the metabolites are delivered respiratory gases are exchanged and waste products are removed by the tissue fluid so among the blood this of the tissues 90 percent of the tissue fluid is returned to the capillaries and only 10 percent of tissue fluid becomes lymph this is the lymph capillary from here you can see the arrow mark upside it is going this is the lymph node before you we have we have seen the section of the lymph node okay so this is the lymph node so from here it is carrying to the lymph node here it will be the flow of lymph is propelled by contraction of smooth muscle fibers in the walls of the lymphatics and by the movement and pressures of the surrounding tissues that means from here this is going back flow is prevented by the valves and from here you can see from the node it is coming back okay so like this this is the lymphatic circulation is going on in our body so just coming back to the 
picture here here you can see this and this are the lymph ducts these are lymphatic ducts that are lymph capillaries drain into these and here you can see lacteals of the small intestine site of absorption of products of lipid digestion drain into the lymphatic system and these are groups of lymph nodes wherever you can see these all the lymph nodes so by this we have finished that the lymphatic circulation in the mammals so just recall these points altogether six points we have completed here you can revise it arteries carry blood away from the heart and into the tissues of the body here in this picture by the picture you can understand everything okay and the second point this is the uh, here you can see capillaries are the smallest and most delicate blood vessels all exchange between the blood and interstitial fluid occurs at capillaries and the third one at capillaries here in this area at capillary network blood pressure forces water and small solutes out of the bloodstream and into the surrounding interstitial fluid that's what we talked before okay from the capillaries the water and the solutes from the bloodstream and the waste is going into the capillaries and here it's giving out water oxygen amino acids and glucose together okay and the fourth one these are the limbs forms lymph forms as interstitial fluid enters lymphatic vessels these are the lymphatic vessels are entering the lymphatic vessels lymph forms that is the interstitial fluid enters enters the lymphatic vessels the fifth one here you can see it is passing to the venule so lymphatic vessels form a network that returns lymph to large subclavian veins near the heart so from here the lymph is passing to the venule finally it reaches the heart okay and then veins carry blood from capillary beds to the heart so just go through this one and then you will understand clearly so thank you for this today meet you in the next class have a nice time